Tehran. This is Press TV. While the world demands the international inquiry into the Israeli attack on the Gaza 8 flotilla, Tel Aviv continues its defiance. Now, a new scandal breaks out as the Israeli military admits doctoring audio transmissions from the ships. Israel has dismissed an international inquiry into the deadly attack on the Gaza Freedom Flotilla. Israel has the ability and the right to investigate itself. Israel seems as defiant as ever despite calls by traditional allies for the need for an international inquiry. We believe there should be an international presence at minimum. Even Israelis are calling for an external probe. On Sunday, a group of top Israeli Navy Reserves officers publicly called for an external probe into the attack. In a letter to the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, the Navy officers slammed the attack as a military and diplomatic failure. The letter reads, We do not accept claims that this was a public relations failure, and we think that the plan was doomed to failure from the beginning. They also blast Tel Aviv for blaming the activists on board the flotilla for the violence. This demonstrates contempt for the responsibility that belongs principally to the hierarchy of commanders and those who approve the mission. This shows contempt for the values of professionalism, the purity of weapons, and for human lives. Israel has for days blamed the activists for what happened on board the ships. The Israeli military had also put out an audio recording of a radio transmission between the Israeli Navy vessel and flotilla ships, painting the activists as anti-Semites. Destiny Y, this is Israeli Navy warship. Do you read me? Shut up. Go back to Auschwitz. Questions had been raised about the authenticity of the recording. And so on Sunday, the Israeli military admitted that it had doctored the audio footage. There seems to be no end in sight for the crisis. And while the Israeli Navy intercepted another Gaza-bound aid ship, the Rachel Curry, on Saturday, another flotilla, this time a Jewish one, is getting ready to set sail. The German Jewish organization, Jewish Voice for Peace in the Middle East, says it's preparing a flotilla to the Strip for July. World anger at Israel's deadly attack on the Freedom Flotilla shows no signs of abating. As the international outrage continues, the question remains, will it be enough to stop Israeli atrocities, or will Washington once again shield Tel Aviv from being held accountable?